Uh, we're at the Avar Bistro down in Old Portsmouth behind the Old Portsmouth Cathedral. Uh, myself, uh, I'm the general manager, so uh, responsible for making sure of the uh, smooth running of the front of house, uh, working with the kitchen team, the head chef, making sure that the dishes that we produce are uh, up to the standard that people expect of us and making sure that everyone has an enjoyable visit to Avar Bistro. Uh, business is a family owned business, um, been in the same hands for about 12 years now, uh, we've been growing year on year. Uh, we always try and uh, provide sort of fresh food, fresh menu, uh, where we can use local suppliers, we use local butchers, uh, we always have a catch of the day on, uh, but try and provide a, a varied menu to meet everyone's needs. Uh, we, at Avar Bistro, we have um, a restaurant, we have a bar, we're also a wine merchant as well, uh, Camber Wines is situated above the restaurant, uh, where we do wine tastings and also retail wine and uh, wholesale wine as well. So the Christmas starter that we've got, we've got a gravelette smoked salmon with a horseradish cream on rye bread. Uh, smoked salmon is a traditional Christmas sort of starter or breakfast, but we've gone with gravelette, something a little bit different, cured with uh, sugar, salt, herbs, so a little bit different there. Some horseradish cream made with horseradish, uh, cr fresh cream, and a little bit of lemon zest to bring it up. And then just for a bit of texture on there, we have um, deep fried some capers to pop them up in a little bit crispy to give it a little bit of bite to the dish as well. Well on our alternative Christmas main we've gone with um, a comfy duck leg. You've got your traditional Christmas dinner which is a turkey and people want something a little bit different when they come out, something a little bit special and I think while still going with the bird option which is what people often look for in a Christmas meal, the duck gives something a little bit richer, a little bit more special. I mean, with that dish, we've used a local supplier, we've used uh, Bookwell's Butchers, and we've um, treated it with a Christmas, what we call a Christmas rub. So we've used traditional Christmas flavours like cinnamon, cloves, uh, garlic in there, but also things like star anise to sort of bring up the, give it a bit of edge, bring up the flavours and create something a little bit different there. And there's a nice sort of sweet braised red cabbage in there, the celeriac dough from wild potatoes, uh, so that gives sort of a nice unctuous flavour to it and we probably pair that with something like a uh, Argentinian Malbec, like Pedro Malbec from our uh, Campbell wine cellar upstairs. Traditional Christmas pudding is something that a lot of places offer and um, again an opportunity to go away from the norm so we've done a panettone and marsala um, trifle for our Christmas dish. Uh, panettone sort of a traditional um, Italian bread so you've got that sort of tradition in there and using some masala wine to make some jelly to go in there. Uh, just It's your traditional Christmas flavours but produced in a slightly different way and something um, that's a little bit richer and sweeter and a little bit more special than your traditional Christmas pudding or Christmas cake. Uh, information about Abar Bistro and our menus available on our website at www.abarbistro.co.uk